Alrighty folks, welcome back to Well That Sucks. But before we begin, you want to know what doesn't suck? Our sponsor for the week, twitch.tv slash Captain Sparkles, aka my Twitch channel, where since the last video went up, I bet you I've streamed like once or twice even probably. And did you miss it? I hope not. But if you did, you could always follow and catch the next one for quality Minecraft gameplay. Let's start off with number 19. Some say he still stands there, wondering what happened. You can walk into the automatic door. Wait. Hold on. What? That... That is, that is kind of weirdly designed. <laughs> He's still looking like... Wait, <laughs> how does this... Wait, wait, that is... It's honestly, I think that's kind of crappy design. It's kind of confusing. Maybe it's more obvious if you're there in person, but on this low-res security camera thing. It's kind of difficult to tell how that, like, why are the doors sliding over the other doors? To be fair, it doesn't say exit over the spot where the door opens up where you actually walk through. Poor guy. It's, it is crappy design. He's like, he's just like, why did you do this? Did I, am I an idiot? No, that's kind of dumb. I bet he's not the only one who this has happened to. Guess who's severely allergic to hair dye? This girl. This seems to happen every now and again, is, is we have people who learn that they're allergic to hair dye. This seems like a really unfortunate thing to discover you're allergic to after you apply it to your scalp in a very high quantity. Man, I'm starting to think if I was ever to dye my hair at home myself, I just, maybe I need to just do a little, I don't know, put a little bit on my skin in a part that doesn't have hair, just a tiny bit and see if I have a bad reaction before I go all out on my scalp and cause my eyes to swell shut. My brother on the ride home from picking up his new puppy. <laughs> Welcome to fatherhood. And I get it, it's very cute. I love dogs, I really do. But there's a lot of things that the dog can do, like vomit all over you. That uh, you're like, oh God, all right, what have I gotten myself into here? Everything is gonna be amazing. This is gonna be the best dog ever. He just had to get that out of his system, get his scent all over me, and now we're truly one of the same pack. I put a Christmas story lamp in my front window, and not one of my neighbors rec recognized it. Several has stopped to ask why I have a weird, gross leg on display. But I feel like I've seen uh, leg lamps before. I didn't realize it's from a Christmas story. But here we are. Why do you have a weird, gross leg on display in your house? Ew, my children walk by here. They've never seen leg like that before. Can you please cover that up? It's disgusting and it's scaring my dog. <laughs> I can just picture that happening. <laughs> Neighbors getting upset because of something in your window that's perfectly innocuous. The expression reveals the suckiness. Wait, is it? Oh, what? Is, is, this, is this the guy? Is this the guy? Hold on, is that the guy or is that photoshopped on? Is that the- is this the guy? Wait a minute. It- Is- did Harold actually get his car booted? Hold- Did- Wait, what? Really? Did Harold's car actually get booted here? I can't- this is amazing- this is the greatest photo I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, if it's actually his car, though, that would be... It would suck and be amazing at the same time. All right, Harold. Ended quite satisfying. Wait, so is this like someone rollerblading in front of the dude? God, the stabilization on this is wild. And I hate the fact that it's on Well That Sucks because it means that it's gonna end poorly. Even though it looks really cool to start off with, like, what's gonna happen here? I'm sure everybody, all the pedestrians are probably not stoked on this. They're they're terrified as this guy comes careening towards them super fast. All right, wait, is he gonna hit a sign? Is the camera person gonna hit a sign? Camera person's gonna hit something. That's what's gonna happen here. Okay, I don't support this anymore. You don't just sketch on someone's car randomly. I'm not down with that, dude. This guy, okay. This guy sucks. Yeah, dude actually sucks. All right, I hate you. I really do. You don't just grab someone's car and also, yeah, okay. Honestly, kind of deserved it. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. He kind of deserved that. I'm glad he's okay, but 
a little bit of a wake up call. I don't support this dude anymore. You don't don't just like weaving through pedestrians going that quickly, assuming that you know they're gonna know the direction to move to avoid you, and then you just sketch on someone's car. Nah, nah. It was cool to begin with, but nah. Oh, and that's why I said ended quite satisfying because everyone's mad at this dude for doing what he was doing there. Plane taking off from Montreal. See, I, I wonder, why are you filming to begin with? Where, did you just like see some stuff start to ha I guess you saw some sparks flying off the wheel. You're like, better film it. Oh God, it fell off. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a little scary. At least it looks like they were, were they landing or were they, oh, it's taking off. So I guess that, we'll worry about this uh, once we get to our destination. It's not gonna impact the flight, but we could be in for a rough landing, everyone. I actually feel bad for him, wait for it. What is this? Is this a bunch of beans or is this boba? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's boba, okay, it's boba, I got it. Is this like the world's largest boba tea? This is probably pretty good, honestly. I like boba tea. The boba balls are just, you know, the texture of them is great. Oh, it's it's all just gonna, it's all gonna fall apart, isn't it? Either the glass is gonna crack, or... Mmm, it looks good though. Looks real good, although I hope no single human is able to finish this whole thing. Dude, cream soda mixed with all that? That seems so good. That actually seems really tasty. So much cream soda. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Thought that might be the outcome there. Probably, uh, probably quite a bit of pressure on that last thing, even though maybe it was made for it, but... Oops. Man, that sucks, dude. That was gonna be so tasty. I could have fed, like... An entire village of people, dude. That was so much. Oh my god. Trying to finish first. Oh god, are they gonna they're gonna run into each other and then no one's gonna finish first. They're all just gonna eat it. Dang! Going absolutely ham. Wait, are you not gonna are you not gonna Oh my god, getting passed by everybody! Why'd you dive so early? Why'd you do it that way? You could have dove later. You could have just not done the dive at all. Actually, you were going a lot faster until you did the dive. Like, you were so far ahead of everybody. I don't know why you did that. Don't do it. Just go, just power it all the way through to the finish in a race. You don't need to do a thing before you get to the end. Man, don't do it. The most wonderful time of the year. That looks very cold. Oh my god. Your tires are just completely covered in ice. You can't even unlock your car because the keyhole is jammed. This is part of why I enjoy living in Southern California is because this, this doesn't really happen. I guess it could happen up in the mountains, but that's, dude, I'd be like, you, you, you would have to probably chip the ice off of the tires, right? Otherwise your car would just start sliding around, or I guess maybe as soon as you start rolling, it would kind of crack the ice off. But can you imagine like all the components of your car that are just like frozen together? I've never lived in a place where you have to like warm up your engine and stuff. And uh, yeah, oh God, no thank you. I've been saving up for a switch for a couple months now. Finally got it last week and found this in my dog's mouth this morning. Hey man, dogs will vomit on you while you're in the car. They'll chew up your electronics. Believe it or not, they don't really recognize something that's valuable versus not valuable. Everything is a possible chew toy if it's the right size. You know, another lesson. Keep chew toy size things out of reach of dogs. To be fair, it really does look like a chew toy. And if I were a dog, I'd probably want to do that too. My phone was stolen last week in London and I just got a notification saying it had been located. In Algeria? I'd be more impressed than anything, honestly. <laughs> You're like, wow, my phone gets to go on a world tour. Wild. All right, I, I hope it enjoys its time. I would be a little angry at the same time, but at that point I'd be like, yep, that's a lost cause. I, uh, I don't really know how to contact the police in Algiers, and I don't know how receptive they would be to going and trying to find my iPhone at this location, and I'm probably not going to go myself. 
because I'm a little bit worried about what's going to happen if I go there myself and try to confront this person who stole my phone in Algiers. Was confused when it didn't sound like it hit the floor. Wait, oh, is that your, that's your toothbrush. <laughs> Like, what is in there? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Hopefully you got a replaceable head on that one. You must, right? <laughs> oh, that's gross, dude. <laughs> At least it didn't, like, fall in the toilet and be, like, oriented properly. So it just kind of went right into the drain area or to, like, reach up in there and retrieve it. So it could have been worse. Like, this is just basically condensed toilet essence, whereas it could have just fallen in the toilet and you just have to fish it out. I've, I've gotten close to having my phone fall in the toilet a few times, and yet I still use it while I'm sitting on the toilet because I haven't learned from my mistakes. A friend sent me this picture today. Wife went to get the Christmas tree from the attic, told her not to step on the drywall. She later admitted she didn't know what drywall was. How do you make it to adulthood without knowing what drywall is? I have many questions about your upbringing. To not know what drywall is. You always, dude, always in an attic, unless someone tells you explicitly, it's fine to step anywhere, always stay on the beams. Or this is a very distinct possibility. Like maybe you see plywood up. If you have plywood on the floor of your attic, it might be okay, but you always want to get confirmation. Otherwise, yep, I guess you could always get them hemmed. They sent them the wrong size. I ain't never seen no short like this in my life. 34 by 50? <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't know this size existed. Is this for a snake? <laughs> sure that this is for like a snake that also is it's it, it can go it likes to just be in like a u-shape so the snake goes up one and then it comes down the other side <laughs> alternatively it's for Yao Ming they might be Yao Ming size it's a possibility can you imagine how much of a stick like to have a 34 which is a pretty average sized waist and then it goes all the way down I want to see the person for whom this fits dude 34 waist, like I have a 32, so pretty similar size to me, but add like, I'm a 32 by like 30, so add 20 inches to my legs. <laughs> what is this, like me, but 20 inches longer of leg? I wanna see the lankiest person on the planet that those pants are made for, that's incredible. Not only did grandpa already have this shirt, he was wearing it when he unwrapped it. Okay, hold on, are you kidding me? This is not a well that sucks. Why is this number two? This is a well that's great. I always wear black shirts. At Christmas, I was wearing a black shirt and if someone gave me a gift and it was more black shirts, I'd be like, I'm stoked, thank you. I wanna contribute to my Doug closet where I open it up and it is just black shirts and black sweatpants. That's why I'm creating a clothing line is so partially I can just have tons of black shirts and black sweatpants forever and black tank tops for the gym. Grandpa's probably stoked. He's like, I had to do laundry like every couple days if I wanted to wear this. It's my favorite shirt. Now I have multiple. This is great. Look at that smile. He's stoked on this. This is no well that sucks, dude. When it comes to clothing, if you like the clothing, you want multiples. This is perfect. You got Grandpa the best gift ever. He's probably so stoked on that. And the top for the last month. My friend works as an extra in movies and does stock photography. Just saw him pictured as a sex vendor on a bus in Florida. Bye. Sex be exposed. Oh god. <laughs> Does suck. Uh, inevitably, there's gonna be someone who sees that and thinks that it is a photo of someone like getting their mug shot. And, uh, yep, that's that is unfortunate indeed. I guess that is a risk when you do stock photography is that you could see your stock photos used in context you weren't anticipating. I wonder, like, I actually don't know in the terms and conditions of stock photography, like how much you're allowed to alter it. Like, was he actually in a mugshot stock photo or was it just him? And then they put the kind of mugshot height lines in the background of that thing. I'm sure it was all cleared. It's probably a big news network or, or network on TV or something, but yeah, that would, that would really suck to just see yourself on the side of a bus pictured as a sex bender. Well, alrighty. Uh, anyway, 
that's that's quality top post for the last month. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you liked. Check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch more. Well, that sucks. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And again, thanks to our sponsor, twitch.tv slash Captain Sparkles, for continuing to sponsor. Uh, watch the stream. See you next time.